Hello fellow YouTubers, in this video I'm going to show you the fan issues I was talking about uh, about this particular case and this particular motherboard uh, it's Asus Maximus 5 Gene and Silverstone TJ08E case with the inbuilt front fan especially so if we reset the fan speed control to enable which is standard standard again everything standard basically okay especially chassis fan 1 because that's where the front fan is connected and we're gonna reset hear that guys that's the fan I'm not getting enough voltage so if I go into the voltage monitor ugh, sorry 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 into the fan speed monitor see what's happening with the front fan now I can re <laughs> I can reassure you yes it can spin below sorry above about 1800 rpms or something like that so this is just complete nonsense what it's showing it to us what is happening is because of the settings here See 600 RPMs, sorry, because it's a chassis one, one, uh, one will go with this. What is happening is the minimum threshold is 600 RPM. Now, as far as I know, this fan is not really comfortable with uh, RPMs as low as 600. So what, uh, what happens is it doesn't get enough voltage to even spin. Now let's see if I engage the high gear on it. See, that doesn't even work. I'll show you after what happens when, when I do the high gear thingy on the proper fan function. It's completely different side and everything. So the fan is not getting enough voltage. The fan is not spinning fast enough. The temperature eventually will rise to some point in the case and the fan will start spinning, okay, because of the temperature. But initially, when the case is cold, as it is now, let's see, temperature monitor, see, it's relatively cold. Now in the room, it's about 25 degrees, so it's only 4 or 5 degrees delta here. So at the moment, it thinks the temperature is low. It goes to the lowest point uh, set on the fan speed control, which is, which is 600. And uh, it just doesn't have uh, enough voltage from the motherboard to spin. Now this is all okay because that's the way it's just set on this motherboard and probably others. The problem with the software is you cannot set the minimum limit above 600 RPM. So with this particular fan, I have to disable at least this particular setting on the BIOS. Otherwise, it would not operate properly. Okay. Now, when you go into, into Windows, I think Windows overrides the BIOS settings, so never mind BIOS settings, Windows just sets the speeds and everything you want, so you can control everything from Windows, even if you don't want to tamper with the BIOS. Now, I'm going to go into Windows, and I'm going to show you exactly the same funny noises and the speed issues in Windows until the threshold is set properly. Okay, so there we are in Windows. It's just booting up all the software there on the side. So I'm just waiting for my ASUS um, controls. Now guys, listen to this. This high pitch sound, that's what I'm talking about. It's not getting enough voltage, the fan is not spinning, nothing good is happening. So if we go to Fan Expert here, um, now the CPU fan shows this because it cannot be controlled. It's a Noctua fan if you look at my other videos. Chassis fan 1. I'm going to explain you what that means. Warning 0 RPM. See? And then it jumps to 5000 whatnot. Now it doesn't spin at 5000. I think it's trying to spin but it's not happening. Now I've done this automatic... Um, not here, sorry. There, there is an automatic mode somewhere where, where just, uh, the system sees what 
speed uh, your fan can spin at minimum and maximum. Now if you look here the speed of the fan is supposed to be 60% however the minimum threshold is here if you look carefully there you see this kind of brown coloring and it's same here although here it's all the way to the top okay so the minimum threshold is actually nearly 100% so if the system wants to set below 100% which is in this case about 60 see because of this temperature and because of this graph the system is drawing for the fan is just not happening the fan is not getting enough voltage to spin now if I try to adjust something let's see there you go so now a fan jumps up to the 100% uh, RPMs okay which is I think when the switch on the side of the case is switched it's about 600 so you can see already that the RPMs here are going up slightly okay if I do the switch hear that the fan is picking up it's getting enough voltage everything is working fine so the problem is the fan doesn't have enough power to spin under lower voltage there you go guys it's just the motherboard is getting, giving it lower voltage because of the temperatures being quite low it just doesn't have enough power to spin now I have my preset which I've done before setting these things to automatic modes see it looks kinda like that and that should sort it out a bit um, there we go so basically you just have to play with it a bit and make sure you get proper fans and this particular fan doesn't like the settings on the motherboard or on the software too much you have to play with them a bit and it will work just fine so that's the only problem now if I to reboot Windows it goes again into the default preset and I have to basically start the ASUS uh, software and load my preset that I've done before and then it's working fine so that is my problem with the software side of this motherboard and with the fan itself that's just not made so it would spin from lower get, getting lower voltages okay so guys hopefully you got the idea what I was talking about here if you don't understand me or if you want more information about it or want something to be clarified Feel free to ask in the comment section down below. If you like the video, click the like button. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day.